printed backgrounds. Choose your texture plate and then take two colors of paint using the popsicle sticks to get them out. Take little bits at a time, you can always get more. Once you have your paint, start painting over top of the texture plate. You want to cover it all in paint, brushing back and forth, dragging your paintbrush across the texture plate. You don't want to have any big lumps of paint, so make sure you're smoothing out all your paint, brushing back and forth, back and forth until it gets all covered. Once it is covered in paint, then you can take your piece of paper and put it over top. Our texture plate is smaller than our paper, so you can put it just in the corner and then do multiple prints, rubbing and rubbing to transfer the paint onto our paper. Peel it off to see part of your printed background. Now to cover the rest of the white. So again, go over top of your printing plate with some paint. You may need to get a little bit more. Brushing back and forth, back and forth until all of it's covered. Once all of the printing plate is covered, putting your paper over top and rubbing and rubbing. And then we're going to keep doing this until our paper is full of beautiful printed patterns. You can see here what happens if you add a little too much paint, right? Our design gets blurred. Try to make sure the paint is nice and smooth. Once you have it all covered, your paper with some printed patterns, then you can start another background.